Ladies and gentlemen, will you please stand to welcome our bride and groom. And once again, please be seated. Okay. Well, good afternoon, everybody. I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to you here today at the old Marylebone Town Hall in the city of Westminster. My name's Alison Cathcart. I'm the Deputy Superintendent Registrar, and I'll be conducting today's ceremony. And with me is Eleni Tzimbaridis. Really? <laughs> I struggle with that name. <laughs> and she is making the legal record of today's ceremony. And on behalf of Christina and Jack, I'd like to welcome you all here today to share with them in this wedding ceremony. Through their vows, they are making a commitment to each other. And through your presence here, you are expressing your support for them. However, I have to ask that if any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then he or she should declare it now. Well, marriage is a desire by two people to share themselves and their experiences with each other and a willingness to accept each other for who they are. Marriage means making a commitment to developing cooperation, friendship and mutual respect. It calls for honesty patience and, of course, a sense of humour. Marriage is where each partner cares for the other and supports them in all that they do. And it demands courage. The courage to be open. The courage to grow and change. And the courage to sort out together the tasks of everyday living. And it requires closeness and distance. Closeness for a couple growing together and enough distance to allow each partner to be an individual. A good partner in such a marriage will be loving, caring and above all, a best friend. <laughs> so it is in this spirit that Christina and Jack now stand before us. In each other's company they have found happiness, fulfilment and love and they now wish to affirm their relationship with this marriage. So today, you will exchange vows which will unite you as husband and wife. The words you will say to each other are a formal and public pledge of your love for each other. But before you are joined in matrimony, it is my duty to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage according to the law of this country, is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. And now I'm going to ask each of you, in turn, to declare that you know of no lawful reason why you should not be married to each other. So first of all, Jack, could you repeat after me, please? I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare... That I know not... That I know not... Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Jack Bernard Boyfield. Why I, Jack Bernard Boyfield. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Christina Skromali. To Christina Skromali. Thank you. And now, Christina, if you could make a similar declaration after me, please. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Christina Skoromali. Why I, Christina Skoromali. May not be joined in matrimony. 
may not be joining much money. To Jack Bernard Boyfield. To Jack Bernard Boyfield. Thank you. And now, Jack, would you like to say your personal vows to Christina? <laughs> My beautiful Christina. <laughs> Since the day I met you, I always felt that there was a special connection between us. But I never imagined that I would be fortunate enough to spend the rest of my life. This is tough. With a partner as perfect as you, and call you my wife. Putting it simply, I'm the luckiest man in the world. I look forward to all of the good days, as well as the bad days. I know that whatever life throws at us, we will continue to laugh, love and explore it together. Every day spent with you and our beautiful jumpy iris will be an adventure that I cannot wait to experience. I love you more than yesterday, but less than tomorrow, as my love for you grows with every day. I'll always be yours. She's done so well. She got turned now. That'd be a test. Um, Jack, I know now that every decision I made throughout my entire life was slowly but surely leading me to you. I look at you and I see all I ever wanted. I look at you and my heart fills with endless happiness and unconditional love. I promise to always make you laugh and stand by your side, to love you and hold you and care for you for the rest of our lives together. Today I'm marrying my best friend, the love of my life, the man of my dreams, and today is a happy day. I love you, Jack, and I'm always yours. My kids. Not, Not yet. yet. We away. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'll tell you when, don't worry. <laughs> so marriage is a personal, intimate decision, but a large part of its importance comes from its recognition by those who are close to the couple. So I ask you now, in the presence of this company, Jack, do you take Christina to be your wife? I do. Do you promise to comfort her in life's sorrow and pain? I do. To rejoice with her through good times? I do. And to remain true to her for the rest of your lives together? I do. Thank you. And Christina, do you take Jack to be your husband? I do. Do you promise to comfort him in life's sorrow and pain? I do. To rejoice with him through good times? I do. And to remain true to him for the rest of your lives together? I do. Thank you. Shall I just take those from you? Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So the moment has now come for you to make your marriage contract with each other in front of your witnesses and guests here today. So just turn and face each other and hold hands, hold your right hands. That's your left, Jack. <laughs> and looking at Christina, once again, Jack, say after me, please. Yeah. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Jack. That I, Jack. Do take the Christina. Do take the Christina. <laughs> to be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives together. For the rest of our lives together. Thank you. Now just remain holding hands and Christina. You could also say after me, please. Mm. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness. To witness. That I, Christina. That I, Christina. Do take thee, Jack. Do take thee, Jack. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For the rest of our lives together. For the rest of our lives together. Thank you. We've now come to the exchange of rings. A wedding ring is traditionally given to seal the contract that you've just made. 
It's an outward sign of the lifelong promises you've made to each other. Each ring is an unbroken circle, symbolising unending and everlasting love. So Jack, take Christina's ring and place it on her finger. Do you want to just give me the box till the next time? Thank you. Thank you. Now just hold the ring in place, look at your bride, and once again say after me. Christina, I give you this ring. Christina, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Thank you. And now if you can do the same, please, Christina, take the ring. Place it on Jack's finger. Now just hold the hold ring in place, look at your bridegroom and say after me. Jack, I give you this ring. Jack, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. Thank you. Jack and Christina, you have both now made the declarations required by law. And you've made solemn promises to each other in the presence of your witnesses gathered here today. This day is the start of a new life for you together. And we all here hope that the feelings of love that you so clearly have for each other will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. And it now gives me great pleasure to declare that you are husband and wife together. Congratulations to you both. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> It's a ceremony. Um, I hope you have a wonderful celebration. I'm sure you will. And in a few days' time, we will send you your marriage certificate in the post. So make sure you look after it because it's a very important legal document. Yep. But more importantly, make do, sure you look after each other. Do we have to sign for those? Yes. Yeah, so are you heading off somewhere? Yeah. Right. Okay. We can send them somewhere else for you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. We can, Eleni, Eleni, if you want to take the address. I mean, Let yeah. me say congratulations. I didn't Thank do you. that. Okay. Thank you so All much. All the very best. Thank you so much. Okay.